Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I have this story, honey, and it's coming from my first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida, okay? This story done pissed me off, honey, to the highest level of pissivity, okay? Grab y'all's teacups. So what's going on is that basically we have a 25-year-old woman. Her name is Marissa Mari, and she's from Port Ritchie. And basically back in 2014, she had been having sexual intercourse with an 11-year-old little boy, okay? Yes, 11 years old. She ended up getting pregnant by the little boy, and she gave birth to the child in October of 2014. Since she's given birth to this child in 2014, she continued having, you know, sexual relations with this kid off and on between the ages of 11 to 14, and she even had sex with the kid as recently as a year ago. This entire situation is disturbing as hell. It's gone viral. I want y'all to go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Back here at home, disturbing may not be the right word for this. It seems like it's a little bit more than that. But as a story, we've got an update for you. A local woman who had a baby with an 11 year old boy a few years ago, then reportedly kept the relationship going. Yeah, authorities just found out about all this, which is why she was just arrested. The baby is now three. And as our Clifton French found out, she is pregnant again. Deputies tell me after interviewing Mallory here at the Hillsborough County Jail, she is now facing 14 new charges stemming from that relationship that started when that boy was only 11 years old. To protect the boy involved in this, deputies aren't telling us how the two knew each other, but say they had a sexual relationship for about three years. The encounters happening mainly in the Brandon area. Now, Mallory lives in this Port Ritchie apartment with her two young children and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend saying he had no idea Mallory had been involved with a child. In fact, he says he was told the father of her child was abusive and she had a restraining order against him. Now, it turns out she actually has two children and is pregnant with her third. Deputies tell me that they only have evidence at this point that the victim in this case is the father of one of her children. I'm reporting in Hillsborough County for the now Tampa Bay. I'm Clifton French. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. And like I said, a lot of things disturbing with this. Not only does this mother have two children, she also has another baby on the way, okay? The thing that's just so disturbing to me is that I went to go research how this even came to light. Because this child is three. It's not like the child is three months old. This is a three-year-old child that was fathered by an 11-year-old. So when this 11-year-old is 22, he's going to have an 11-year-old child. What kind of shit is this? And y'all know that I take this shit hella personal, boo, because I have an 11-year-old son. I can barely get him to clean his room at times. I couldn't imagine him being a father. I got to get behind him, clean up your room, pick this up. Imagine him being a father. Like, what the fuck? The thing that pisses me off the most is that it wasn't the parents who turned this bitch in. It was a tip from somebody, you know, who kind of knew the situation that was concerned. They decided to contact the police three years after they found out who the mother was. So the parents didn't even call. The parents didn't even get her arrested. So I also blame the parents for being negligent. Where the fuck were the parents when this 11-year-old boy was getting molested over and over by this grown woman? And it's so crazy because obviously this woman felt so comfortable and knew that the family wouldn't do shit that she had no problem not only getting pregnant by the little boy, but giving birth to the child. You know, it's one thing if it's a man getting an 11-year-old girl pregnant. You know, unfortunately, a lot of times that child may be forced to have a child because you can't force an abortion on somebody else. But this is a grown woman who got pregnant by an 11-year-old boy who could have very well went to the clinic and got an abortion. Because she saw nothing wrong with what she did, she went ahead and gave birth to this child, knowing that the father of the child was 11 years old. You know, the family had to have some type of inkling. And for the family to not step up and try and, you know, press charges, this is just sad and crazy that it took a stranger to report this to the police for all this to come to light. This bitch is as bad as Mary Kay Letourneau, okay? And again, the fact that she had no problem giving birth to this child, knowing who the father was, shows that she saw nothing wrong with what she was doing. This is disgusting to me. This is just extremely too much. She not only raped and molested this child, she continued to rape and molest him for several years. 
This bitch is a piece of trash who deserves to be in prison, and I feel really bad for her children. I really do, because this just makes no sense whatsoever, and I feel so bad for that 11-year-old. He's about 14 or 15 now, but I feel so bad for him because he probably doesn't even understand the ramifications of what was happening to him and the fact that regardless of the situation, he is a father to another human being. He has a three-year-old child out here when he himself is just a child. I could not imagine my 11-year-old having a baby. That is crazy to me. That is crazy. This woman is a disgusting piece of shit, and I'm glad that she's been exposed. Her ass needs to be in jail. I've talked about, you know, female molestation for years. A lot of people make excuses. Oh, he's lucky he's getting in-house coochie and all that dumb shit. There's nothing lucky in this situation. This situation is not funny. This little boy's life is forever changed. You have grown ass men who don't know how to be fathers, who run out on their family. How do we expect a child who is 14 or 15 possibly to be a father to a three year old when he himself is still a child? This entire situation has so many ramifications. It just makes no sense whatsoever. And the poor boyfriend, he's here trying to protect America and shit. He comes back from deployment only to find out that his damn, you know what I mean, girlfriend is, is fucking a damn 13, 14 year old on the side. I mean, the whole situation just boggles the mind. Honey, Ratchet Florida, I'm going to need y'all to lock this bitch up and throw away the damn key, okay? How you doing? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass Florida story, honey. Concerning this damn Mary Kay Letourneau knockoff. Marissa Maury having sex and getting pregnant by an 11-year-old boy. This is a damn shame. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.